You done checking your email? Okay, good. Ron, let's go. Guys, welcome to Aftermath. I'm Vane Don Vane, and today is Wednesday, May 25th. Welcome. I am here with my very dear friends, Chris Wokel, Christopher Wokel, Pastor Scott Lessing. And today we are crushing our way through another two chapters, sort of. I have a question. This week, no. About how, uh, on the book, How Not to Read the Bible. Um, if you're keeping track at home, good luck, because we are way off. We're on chapter 16 and 17. Today. Today. Chapter 9 next week. Yeah. Who knows after that? Probably chapter 18. Yes. And then after that, we're going completely off the rails, and we're going to be talking about well, which, evangelism. Which chapters are we doing again? Aren't we, like, doing chapters again and again, over and over? <laughs> no. Back and forth, back and forth, back. We're not doing any of that. No. Okay. Not as far as I know. Okay. I have a question. Yeah, so what's your question? Now that I'm done with the introduction to the guys. What? Well, I'm sure there's some women that watch, too. And, and gals, excuse me. Okay. Yeah. Well, women listen to your podcast, but we it's undetermined whether women actually listen to After Or Eight, watch. Eighteen percent listen to my podcast. Right. Our podcast. We well, probably don't have that. And on you After probably Earth. have that number posted, like, in your office up on the wall. Eighteen percent. He's got a t-shirt that says eighteen <laughs> percent. <laughs> question. Yes. Why did you not introduce our friend as... Colonel Christopher Wokel. Changing it up. Sometimes okay. you keep it fresh, you know. <laughs> you know, you don't want to get in a rut. I, I, what, it didn't bother me. I was surprised that I didn't have some title, but, no, well, I, I, used but I'm not I used offended. I used the full name. Yeah, that's fine. My yeah. name's Christopher, Christopher yeah, Dobbins. And I was formal Who? with him. What? what? Christopher Dobbins? Who's Christopher Dobbins? I mean, Christopher Robbins, he's from Pooh Bear, but... <laughs> Robbins? Yeah. No. Oh, I thought it was Dobbins. No. It's Christopher Robbins. Okay, we are way off the rails. Just because these guys think we've got a little time today, we don't. And they're messing with me for other reasons, and I'm not saying why. So, um, I thought today was uh, we're on easy street. We're on easy street this week, and you need to stop it. Because <laughs> I thought, don't you think there was an easy topic? I, I well, I, I've, I've kind of struggled with this a little bit. Well, I struggle is the wrong word. I've, I've had discussions on this topic in the past. So, so I was, so topic, I was a little bit more comfortable. Okay, so the topic is violence in the Bible is is in essence what we're talking about right. here. Um, and you know, there was a Richard Dawkins quote that I thought was really hard to read. Mm. I read it today. It's hard to read, not because he's used a lot of funky words, but he used a lot of crazy big words. Crazy <clears throat> big words, which is whatever. He's just trying to show off. Yeah. But I think that um, it just it hurts my ears that that, that people think of God that way. I think well, it's the bottom and, line. Yeah, so. he, he, I mean, he said God's unforgiving, jealous, a masochist, genocidal, vindictive, bloodthirsty, racist, and a capricious, malevolent bully. Yeah. And that's one of, one of the things he said. Yeah, well, that's one of the lines. And that's, but, you're right, that's very hard to listen to. Yeah, it is but hard to listen to. I, I think the reason it's important, though, that, like, like the, I think the reason he put it in the book, that, that quote, is because there's probably a lot of people who would agree with some of the things that maybe Dawkins said about God, right? And if... If that's true, that there are people that we would run into who would say, even one of those, that God is vindictive or genocidal. Like, those are two that you could say, okay, well, well, why do you think that? And they, well, what about all the mass killing, all the mass death, right, which is genocidal? Yeah. Um, just in the flood alone. Right. Uh, what, what do you say about that? Right. You know, how could your God do that if he's compassionate and caring and loving um, how can your God do that? And I don't want to follow a God who would. Right. And I, I think Dawkins took it to an extreme, but I think what I just said is what we might hear more of, right? Yeah. yeah. And if, if that's true, how we, we need to be able to have some logical discussion around that and not just say, because we talked about two points that we really shouldn't say, well, God is God. Yeah. Right? That's right. just, well, the, the no apology the two, approach. The, the two right. ways to explain it or approach those. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, I, 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 I'm not apologetic that, that that's, that's, that's who God is. And, yeah. you know, like that, that people really, truly want it. They, they want the best answer that we can give them. Yeah. And, and that's, that, and that's that, not it. That's not an answer. No. no. Right. It's not an and answer. there's really no thought in, put into it. Like, well, why would God, you know, kill all but eight people at the flood? And let, let's talk about that. Let's have a conversation about that. Instead of just saying, hey, God's, God's God. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. And what was the other one? The other one was the Bible is wrong. Yeah. That, that authors in the Old Testament uh, either didn't hear from God, 
got it wrong or they lied. They misrepresented God. Right. Yeah. And then and one dude even took out, uh, I can't remember oh, yeah. his name. But... A, a church leader back Marcion. in 140 Marcion. A.D. Yeah. started teaching that the Old Testament was just completely not uh, inspired by God. That it was, yeah. it was completely false. He took out all and, the tough and, stuff. And took out tough stuff from the New Testament as well. Yeah. Yeah. So that I'm back. was yeah. Did you have to go to the bathroom? No. Okay, just checking. So um, yeah, that's interesting that you know that he did that, um, and that kind of transis in, trans transitioned us. I had trouble talking this morning. Transitioned <laughs> us into the most repeated verse in the Bible. Yeah. Which was Exodus 34, and I actually I actually have it here. Unless you want to read it, you have it memorized. I do not have it memorized, but... And we're, we're, you're a pastor. The, it starts with, <laughs> the Lord, the Lord, it, it yeah, repeats. That's right. Yes. Which does not happen very often in Scripture. So I what is the most repeated verse? Does that mean the Lord is the most repeated, or is that verse in the Bible is, comes up is in different spots in the Bible? That's what it means. That, that verse and those series of phrases... The and compassionate, that, that, that he's compa all those things. That context oh, is repeated throughout it. Scripture okay. repeatedly. That More often sense. than any other verse. The Lord, yes. the Lord, the compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness, maintaining love to thousands, and forgiving wickedness, rebellion, and sin. That, that is repeated repeatedly thrown not scripture. word for yeah. word no, no but like yeah, the but phrase the, the statement yeah, yeah. The, the the overarching the process yeah yeah, yeah. Got is it. is repeated more more than anything else in the bible well, why is that important to bring up today mm. well I, I think when we look at when we're trying to answer this question like how can god do these things right if we look at it through the lens that he's compassionate he's kind he's slow to anger abounding in love he's faithful he maintains, he maintains love to thousands. He forgives wickedness, rebellion, and sin. But there's still justice, right? That, that he's a God of justice, and there is judgment. And as a parent, I would be a bad parent if I l just let my kids run rampant and there were no consequences to their actions. And we didn't talk about that today. No, that, no. That's a very easy segue into... Well, why would God have judgment? And his judgment happens to be that there's separation, there's separation right? Yeah. And that's because of the fall. And we have to go all the way. That's why Genesis 1 and 2 is so important, not just from creation, but also what happens when sin arrived into the world. And there's, there's death, right? There's a spiritual and a physical death. Right. And that's the consequence. And so we see that throughout Scripture, that the, the consequence is death, mm -hmm. right? And so... Even though God is all of these things, he also has consequences to our behavior. Right. Yeah. And it's interesting. I, I you know, the, the two approaches, we were talking about the no apology, you know, God is God kind of thing. For, so, for many years, that's just my limited knowledge and yeah. intelligence was like, well, I don't know why he does that. I mean. But he's he, God. He, he's God. He must have had a reason. Right. You know, who am I to think I know what God's reason I, would or would I was in the be. same boat with you. you know? I was that way too. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. It's interesting. And, and so, but that doesn't satisfy. That's no. not good right. enough. No. Right. right. Especially when we're trying to develop our biblical literacy yes. and, and yes. be able to engage others and have meaningful discussion that teaches them about God, about our right. loving God. We got to have some kind of answer. Right. Yeah. Well, guys, thank you for that. I thought for sure, without a doubt, that we'd be able to keep this in six minutes or less. We've gone way long, almost <laughs> nine. So thanks for being with us. This is Pastor Scott's fault. I'm just saying right now. And um, so today, you know, go to um, YouTube, go to gracecma.org, go to the Grace Men's Facebook page. You'll be able to see that what we just talked about earlier uh, posted. This is posted. There's all kinds of great stuff there as well. Um, past sermons from Sunday and, and in the past uh, all recorded for you. Pastor Scott just had a podcast that dropped. It'll drop this Friday. I just listened to one. There's a new one coming this There's Friday. There's a new one coming this Friday. Oh, wow. So there was one that just dropped not that Two long ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. I listened to it, and there's one coming up. So keep your eye open for that. And um, thanks for coming, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. See you guys. Have a great week. <laughs>